Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to another unboxing. So today I actually have two boxes, you can see right here. <laughs> two more Legion of Collectors boxes, and then I have another one on the way. It, I actually ordered them at the same time, because I ordered all the back, like back stock that they had, all the boxes that I hadn't received, you know, hadn't gotten into League of Collectors in time. And, um... The third one shipped actually a few days later, like it just shipped yesterday. So, once that one comes in, we'll do just a, a shorter, you know, single unboxing kind of video. Now, I will say that the larger box, I know what's in these because, you know, they have pictures of every pass box. And, of course, these are pass boxes from a few months ago. But, the larger box on the bottom, I'm very, very, very excited about. So, anyways, let's go ahead and start diving into these. We're going to start with the smaller one. Um, this is the DC Legacy. DC Legacy box. And, yeah. These always, you know, these have great stuff in them. I'm always super excited to open them. So, we'll go ahead and dive on in. I actually just received these. Very excited, too. <laughs> so, I'm ready to get these things open and, and, and get into them. Especially this larger one. There's something in there that I really I want to use right away. All right, so first up, the DC Legacy. I've got the box open. Um, I guess, uh, technically, I can look inside because I know what's in here. But um, Anyways, if we take a look here, we have comic print. And on there, you can see a lot of the DC characters. There's Aquaman, Superman, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, uh, Green Lantern. You know, there's all sorts of characters on this. Uh, I see Green Arrow. Um, and first up, our patch. Those things are always, like, super glued into there. We have Green Arrow patch, which is awesome. I actually quite like this a lot, too. Um, and Nanook's come over to see what's going on. He loves when packages get opened or boxes get opened. I guess he thinks he's going to get something, but... Anyways, um, that is our patch for this box. And then our pen is, uh, uh, I mean, let me actually open it out of the package because that package causes so much glare, especially with these pens because, you know, they kind of reflect the light and then the package reflects the light and you can't see nothing. But um, it is actually Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing and it says Legion of Collectors. Really, really cool. Really, really cool pen. I actually quite like Swamp Thing. All right, so anyways... Um, then we can, you know, dive into the core of the box where everything, everything's kind of tucked away. All right, so first up we have kind of the, the advertisement for the next box, right? And this is the advertisement Superman. And I actually have this box. This is the box that did not ship today or didn't come in today. It'll be a few days from now, but it is the Superman box and very, very good stuff. Um, and then, of course, on the back we have... Basically just details of what all is in the box. I'm not going to open that up. I'm not going to show you guys that. Alright, first up we have a comic book. It is Aquaman. And very, very cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and open these. Because I actually like to read these. If you recall, the Batman animated series one came with a comic book as well. And I'm curious to see... I'm curious to see if this comic book is as good of detail as the Batman one. Um, oh, and then there's like a subscribe and save for um, the DC Comics and stuff. Yeah, this is just like the animated series. You can see um, it's all full color and, you know, it's not it's not Funko style like the cover. The cover is Funko style, but, uh, but the comic itself is actually just uh, standard. But yeah, it looks like the villain of this one is Black Manta. So, really, really cool. I will, I will definitely have a read through that a bit later. I actually, <laughs> I cut because I actually stopped and read a little bit of it, you know. Uh, very, very interesting. All right, now next up we have a shirt. And this shirt I'm actually very excited about. And there's actually two different variants that you could get. You basically just got one of, one of two, you know. And I know, I can tell the one that I got here. And I'm actually very excited about it. Here we go. It is the Crypto Superdog shirt. 
Um, there was actually, you either got the Crypto Super Dog or you got Bat Dog. Um, so really, really cool. <laughs> I actually quite like this a lot. And it's got nothing on the back, you know. Um, I actually don't have very many shirts in this, like, color. Let me, uh, yeah. But the, uh, there we go. Super Dog. Crypto the Super Dog. Really, really cool. Um, but yeah, you either got, you didn't really get to pick. It was kind of like, you know, like everything else, it's kind of like a mystery box. So, um, you get, you know, whichever. But there was two different variants I saw in there. And I was like, oh man, I kind of hope, like I was torn between which one. But I really like that, uh, that Crypto Dog. Both of them were, were great. It was one of those things that was like, I don't really care which one I get. I just want one of them. All right, now the other two things in here. First up, we have the pop vinyl for this box because, of course, each of these comes with a pop vinyl. And it is, of course, once again, an exclusive. It is Plastic Man. And uh, you can see, like, his body's all, like, plasticed out, all curved and everything. Really, really cool. And the back, actually, is really neat. So, very, very nice. And, of course, this is only obtainable through the League of Collectors. He is a little bit more of an obscure character, I feel like, than some of the top names. But in the comics and stuff, he was a really cool character. Um, not my favorite, but still, you know, a pop that I would like to have, you know. Um, and then next up, we have... Now, this is the thing I was actually curious about because in the picture, it didn't really say... Granted, I could have done some looking around and figured out what they were. But I had a feeling I knew what these were, but I wasn't for sure. And they are, it looks like, what I thought they were. That is... Batman and Robin, Funko style, salt and pepper shakers, which is really, really cool. I don't know if I'm going to use these. I'm thinking that I'm going to. Basically, it's a Batman salt shaker and a Robin pepper shaker, So, which I actually do cook a lot. I cook a whole lot. Um, we actually don't eat any packaged foods here, and um, like in my house, and so I do cook a lot, and... <laughs> I use the salt and pepper shaker a lot. Right now, the one I have is like a, it's like a dragon, basically, that holds the salt and pepper shakers. The salt and pepper shakers are pretty non-decorative, I guess. But uh, the thing, I don't know what you'd call it, but the thing that actually holds the salt and pepper shakers is, uh, is like a big dragon on like a roost thing. But, um... Yeah, that's all that's in this box, and if we take a look inside, you know, you got the comic print all throughout. Um, really, really cool stuff. And it looks like the on the inside, it's all the same. You know, it's Batman, Robin, Aquaman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Green Arrow. Oh, and there is Plastic Man right here. Right here, I did not see that one before, but um, there is a little bit of Plastic Man on there, and uh, good stuff. But yeah, I'm actually really, really stoked about this. Like, I love Fun Funko Pop stuff. And I mean, these are... I'll tell you what, I'm going to open these up. Because I'm, I'm probably going to put them in my kitchen, honestly. Um, because Funko Batman and Robin Pepper and Salt Shakers is just awesome. That's great. Alright, so... Of course, they come in like a little plastic thing here. Let me go ahead and open this up. These are actually kind of heavy. I mean, they feel like good quality. That's the thing I like about this box. Like, I was looking at some other boxes, and it's just like, they don't have the quality. Yeah, these are like glass. They don't have the quality that the League of Collectors stuff does. I don't know. I don't know if I want to put these in my kitchen or not. Because I don't want to take a chance on breaking them. They are really, really nice. They're actually pretty heavy glass. Um, made in China, of course. But uh, very, very good quality. So, really nice. Really nice pieces. And uh, I just, I just, I worry that with them being this big, I mean, they're pretty large, you know. I worry that I would accidentally chip them on something, you know. So, I'll probably just display them maybe in the kitchen. Because I've got an area above the cabinets, like between the ceiling and the cabinet where I put things like decorative stuff. So I might put them up there or something like that. Maybe. We shall see. Or I may put them back in the box and display them. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I'll have to give it some thought. So for now, I'm going to leave them in this box until I figure out. But I don't, I don't think I trust myself enough. 
Uh, and by the way, the salt and pepper is stored in their heads. And the bodies feel solid, you know, but the heads are hollowed out. So you can store the salt and pepper in there. But Okay, now next up we have this box. This one, if you notice, is a lot larger than the, the other box. There's some cool stuff in this one. Um, this is the Batman Villains box. It's all Batman Villains stuff. So, really, really excited for this one. And once again, I know what's in this one, but uh, you guys may not. Unless you've been over to the website and had a look through, um, you know, all the boxes and everything. So, sadly, a lot of the boxes I'm not going to be able to get because, you know, they were before, they were well before I started, or I got subscribed to League of Collectors. So, not going to be able to get those. Like the Batman vs. Superman box. Really, really cool stuff in that one, but not going to be able to get it yet. All right, so first up, let me open this one up. We have all the prints, and I mean, you can see Riddler, Harley Quinn, uh, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Joker. Um, uh, I see Penguin. Yeah, that looks like everybody. Looks like Joker, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Riddler, Poison Ivy. But anyways, really, really cool stuff. I love those comic prints on the inside of these boxes. Those just make it. And I love, you know, I've got them back there displayed and everything. Love these boxes. They are spot on. Um, but first up for the patch, we have Bane. Legion of Collectors Bane patch. Really, really cool. Um, these patches, I don't really put on anything. But uh, I do like to keep them and I have them all. Like the pins and the patches, I have them all set out, you know, together and everything. But... Um, I will probably end up getting some kind of nice collectible like case for them or something at some point, but really, really cool. I love the patches and pins, so then you kind of have like a collection of them. They all go together and whatnot. And then next up for our pin, we have, it's Riddler. Riddler pin. Um, really, really cool stuff. There you go. So, I really like that pin. I like all, you know, all the pins and stuff. I will say probably the Catwoman... Like the Selena Kyle with the diamond one from the animated series. That was probably one of my favorite pins. And of course Wonder Woman. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, if we get into this box. This box is very, very, very exciting. Okay, so now if we get inside the box. I was waiting for that hammering to stop. I don't know what that was, but somebody was working on something. Alright, so first up in this box, we have... Our theme for next month, I guess I should open this box first, it is DC Legacy. <laughs> so, the one that we just opened, actually. Um, but that is theme, you can see Batman, Green Arrow, and Plastic Man on the front there. And these, we actually have been hanging these up. Um, because they're actually pretty nice. But yeah, so that's the, the theme of next month. That we've already opened and then we have a comic book um, they do these on occasion but it is batman riddler number one is what it says so there we go and you can see it's got batman swinging in and the riddler's got robin all tied up so really, really cool let's open this one up and just to guess i'm assuming that riddler is going to be the primary antagonist of this comic <laughs> all right so there we go, and if we open this one up, I actually like the art style in this one a lot. Like, look at that. Very, very cool. And of course, once again, you know, it's not the Funko characters on the inside. And yeah, the Riddler is, is the antagonist of this one, as to be expected. So I'll definitely have a read through that later. Um, next up, there's so much in this box, by the way. So much in this box. Uh, first up, we have a Dorbs, which, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest collector of Dorbs, but I will definitely display them, especially this this uh, exclusive stuff, DC uh, League of Collectors stuff, but it is a Two-Face Dorbs, so really, really cool, and of course, everything has that exclusive League of Collectors sticker, and um, yeah, very, very nice, you can see, there's the back, I really like that, really, really like this one. Um, so this one will definitely be going up. And then next up are Funko Pop. They're so, this month was like, I had to get this box. Like, just wait. Because this is, we're not even, there's still like two more things in here after this. But um, the Funko Pop, we have Catwoman. And of course it is a League of Collectors exclusive Catwoman. 
Very, very cool. And you can see on the side, and she's got the whip and everything. So very, very nifty. You can actually see the whip in there, back in there. She's holding it. So very, very nice. Um, definitely going to be displaying this one. Catwoman's one of my one of my favorites. One of my favorites, not my very, very favorite. All right, next up, we have a hat, and it's got the DC. Uh, League of Collectors, it's got a, a like foil sticker on it, but it is the it's the Joker and it says ha 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 across it. And you can see on the side here it says pop. So very, very cool and whatnot. Very, very nice hat. And on occasion I'll wear hats. It's not super common, but uh, I'll definitely be sporting this hat, <laughs> to say the least. I'm not going to put it on right now because I have gel in my hair and I don't want gel all in it. But um, And then last up, last up, this is this is the big one. This one I'm super excited about. And this is the thing, um, by the way, the, the print on the inside, you can see inside of the box there, it's all the same, the same pictures and stuff. But last up we have, this is another pop home, like houseware stuff, but it is a Joker ceramic mug. <laughs> and it's even got the sticker there, uh, League of Collectors exclusive. And you can see we turn it around. Very, very cool. And then on the top and then the bottom is just stuff here. But the bottom actually has the League of Collectors exclusive sticker as well. So if we open this thing up, I've been so excited about this. Watch me open it up and it's like broken. <laughs> I would be so, so depressed. But it's not. I hate that styrofoam sound but uh here we go you can see it's like his head and then there we go so i will definitely be definitely be drinking out of this mug and the front actually the top you can see it's got it's kind of ridged so you can uh i guess sip on it like that i guess or like this yeah probably on the front because it's rounded uh, it make more sense but yeah really really cool i will definitely be using this i'm actually about to go make some coffee and have some coffee out of this mug in fact so very very exciting this i'm not as worried about chipping as the salt and pepper shakers because sometimes when i'm cooking you know i grab the salt just da, 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 and then i don't want to take a chance on like clipping off batman's like ears or anything <laughs> so but that's i mean that's crazy because you get in that one Batman Villains box, coffee mug, a hat, uh, adorbs, a pop vinyl, a comic, a pen, a patch. It's great. You know, I love, that's what I love about these boxes is they really are, it's not a bunch of filler stuff. I haven't gotten any like just little sticker reel or anything like that. That's what drives me insane. So, and then we'll be getting Superman in, in the next few days, like I said, and we'll open up that box. So anyways, um, that's it for those two. And like I said, a couple more days, we'll open up Superman, and then, let's see, beginning of next month, we'll get the uh, DC's Most Wanted box, which I'm really, really excited to find out what's in that one. Um, I know there's been some talk about the Pop Final. Some people are thinking it might be a one of the extra large Pops, and it, they're talking about maybe Lex Luthor in the mech, which would be really, really awesome. But... Uh, but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe for more unboxings in the future. And um, until next time, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Going to make some coffee.